won a giveaway uh, recently and then this was the price so the Gaston Luga Classy black and brown and I just received it today I actually always wanted to get a Gaston Luga but um, a little bit too expensive so I just kept holding off I just joined the giveaway because why not right if you don't try you don't get anything but I actually can't believe that I won <laughs> I won like two giveaways this year already Wonder what's up with my luck. Yay! So here it is. Whoa! Nice metal hardware. So it's a fabric bag with leather. Uh, is it PVC? Not sure. But yeah. Very nice. Mmm. feels very solid. I actually quite like their main bag. Uh, I forgot the name. But this would work too. This is a smaller version. Since I do have my Nordis already, so uh, I don't need another bag of the same size. So this one it will be good. Yay! This is really nice though. It's you, it's you. What is it me? Where am I going? Who am I? Who is this going? What's what? Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, then how? Oh. No, you need to change the, the bottom one. No, I need to change for them. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said change the bottom one for that thing. Gosh. Why is it turning inside? Oh no, wrong. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, so many! Why is it turning inside? I because you never change number two! I changed number one for them. No, you supposed to change number two for them. So you go straight. Huh? Yeah, you change one, go in, man, then the two go straight. See? Oh, yeah! Oh, nice. Why it never breaks? Bay. Like <laughs> I see Bay tired of this game. <laughs> see this and found out that our DB box is dismantled so I guess they're preparing for carpentry and also the contractor told us that they're installing our bifold glass door so we're here to check that out only to find out that it's not what we wanted and we can't open the freaking door <laughs> and if you look at the hinges it's opening towards this way and on the right side, which is wrong, it's supposed to open towards the left, as in it's supposed to open inwards that way. And we didn't want this kind of frame, like I specifically asked for the very thin mouse steel frame, like this. And this is wrong. So I don't know what went on here, but she wasn't around yesterday to, while they were installing it because her kid is, was sick. So, well, I already highlighted it. And they, they have to fix it anyway because we can't open the freaking door. Yeah. Like, this is lame. How can you open the door? <laughs> you can't open the door. And it's like locked. Doesn't make sense, guys. Also, there is a, like, it's not very well done. And this is just, it's not sandblasted, basically. It's like, we asked for frosted, but it's not sandblasted. If we wanted to do this, we can easily just buy the sticker off Taobao and get for clear glass. 
it will be so much cheaper. But yes, this is a problem. And it does not match any of our aesthetics. If I wanted this kind of frame, I wouldn't ask for mouse steel already, I would just ask for aluminium. <laughs> but yeah, they still have to fix the fact that we can't open the door. Yes, our small update. This was unexpected though. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Anyways. Our side panel, our very lonely piece of carpentry here. The only piece of carpentry? Yes. But apparently, it said that it's very straight. I know. It's very straight. So, the guy, the glass guy, came to measure on, what day was it? Friday? Uh, yeah, insert the video here. I have a video of it. So, he was measuring from the beam all the way to the carpentry with his laser measuring tool and uh, the line was very straight which is great because then the doors will be aligned with this piece of carpentry when it's closed and our contractor mentioned that because of how HGB decided to do their floor tiles and their walls the floor tile ends here but the wall starts here which is why we have this little bit of gap. So what we're gonna do to uh, sort of like rectify it is we're gonna pad it out an extra 2cm so that this side panel is sitting like next to this line here. Yeah, so our contractor asked us if it's okay because it's already, it's already so thick and if we don't mind it being thicker, and I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> it's already so thick, it can be a feature. But on this side, we can't really do much. Yeah, so you can see, this is where HDB stopped the floor tiles, but this is where the wall starts, which is like, why, why, why do you do this? Why can't you just align it all? But anyways, yeah, so we ha we're gonna have the tall unit here, which will sit a bit on the living room floor tiles, but oh well, I think that's fine. And an update on this door that is finally open. Uh, you can hear that it's not even smooth like only this part is smooth and then when you push it there it's just like scratchy yeah so it's totally not well done at all and they're gonna redo it because apparently there was some like miscom or something that they said they needed this to be a two inch frame so that the lock can go on but they said that they told their admin staff to tell our contractor but our contractor said she never got the message and if she knew it was going to be a 2 inch frame she would have never approved for it, it to be fabricated and installed so they are going to go back and fix this so um, they have she managed to find another material that doesn't require this 2 inch frame to install a lock so that's what they're going to do to this and they are bearing the cost so it's not going to be on us and this, this whole thing is opposite yeah this whole thing is it's not even supposed to open here like, it's supposed to open here have you ever seen like a door that opens like outwards yeah, it's blocking the light switches which are like here. It doesn't even make sense. So they installed it in reverse, which is also their fault, which they admitted. So yeah, and they made that whole fuss about the frame. And I can't even find the lock. Where Where is the lock on this thing? And the handle is here when it's supposed to be on the outside. So yeah, this is, this is just a messed up job. So they're gonna fix it. And I think it's yeah, the whole thing is not even like it's it's not even it's so difficult to close. And it's supposed to lie flat, which obviously doesn't. So yeah. They're fixing this, but I don't know when they're gonna fix it, so that's great, I guess. And what the heck? It's already scratched. Yeah, uh, they're gonna remove this whole thing anyway. Yeah, but what the heck though? You can also see that they pasted the frosted glass here. Yeah, it's not the same blasted. It's not the same blasted. Yeah, this is not this is not sticker. What are you doing? Yeah, it's not the good one. This is just a sticker, it's not even sandblasted. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, anyway, that's all for today. Oh, but well, we bought some stuff for the house already, I guess. Essential oils from the smell lab, which I will review, not review, which I will go through later. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so what I got from the smell lab is, oh no, I packed it like this. They were running a promo, so if you get a 30 or 100 ml essential oil, they will give you a 10 ml for free. And so, uh, I got the 30, which is somewhere, and I got a 10 ml for free, and then they're running a promo for a specific set of 10 mls, one for 14.90, two for 24.90, so I also got another two 10 mls. Okay, so this is the 30 ml I got, which is worries away. So I got this for to help with the anxiety and generally to like help with sleep. Uh, they only have this under the 30 ml and not the 10 ml series, so that's why I got this one. All these three are under the 10 ml. This is the free one that we got, so it's eucalyptus. Great for sinus and apparently also helps with uh, keeping away mosquitoes. This, I mean citronella, I think is quite common. It's used for keeping away cockroaches, mosquitoes, lizards and stuff like that. So between this and lemongrass, I prefer the smell of this. That's why I got this one. Orange sweet is basically just an uplifting uh, scent. Apparently it also helps with anxiety. So I got that as well. Yes. We'll be getting a diffuser from Taobao for these little ones. That's all for the week. Bye.